Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Your theme is about promoting business investment skills among pre-service teachers. Okay, I am happy that my audience or the participants of this activity are teachers. So, I am also a teacher at the same time, a graduate of business administration and hope I can give many inputs to all of you. Okay, as a start, I would like to present to you our objectives for this afternoon's activity or my topic. Okay, the first one is to all the participants should be able to have a thorough understanding on the business and investment through determination and internalization of SWOT. So, at the end of this session, I am expecting an output from you participants to submit your personal SWOT about your career. So, because all of you has a potential to become a businessman or an entrepreneur. Another thing, so this afternoon, I will try my best to finish my lecture for an hour because there are I it's like a pie no um, I divide the pie into portion so there will be five topics for this afternoon so that at the end of this session you will be fully equipped to become an entrepreneur okay the first one Okay, so discuss about entrepreneurship and how to start a small business. Okay, being an entrepreneur, of course, we need to start from the bottom. And later on, you will be learning that there are many types of business. Huh? Another thing is learn how to invest while you are young. So as early as of now, even you are a college student, you need to have an investment. Okay, third one for the enabling objectives. Assess the interest of the participant in business. Okay, later on, um, I will give you a link in which you can do your self-assessment if you have the capability to become an entrepreneur. And of course, the last one is to appreciate about many management. Okay, so we have here a picture, okay, because we have two purpose now. You are a future teacher, at the same time, a future entrepreneur. Okay, try to look at the picture. What can you say about or your reflection about the photo or the picture? Okay, so being a teacher, it is very rewarding right, to all of us because each day for us is different. Every experience that we encountered every day, uh, dealing with the students or the stakeholders, the parents, or even our linkages or partners, you know, we encountered a lot of things. And through teaching, it is considered as a lifelong learning. So as a teacher, we never stop to learn anything. It's because it is expected from us that we could provide learnings for our students. So in order for us to continue our learning you know, from time to time, we need to um, attend some trainings or seminars or of course, right now we are in new normal. To attend webinars. 
Okay, so it is very fulfilling to us teachers na we'll be able to mold a student no, after they graduate and they will become a good citizen of our country. So we have here another illustration in terms of a business. Okay, if you want to become an entrepreneur, try to look at those words there. So you have to consider everything. So dili lang ang teacher ang uh, um, updated of certain things. Because being an entrepreneur also, um, you have the full control over your destiny. Huh? You are also free to do some travel. And like the teacher, your mind will always be utilized. So, kung sa, sa school, ang teacher, uh, from time to time, they will make the lesson plan. Pero sa entrepreneurship, no, they will create the main output or the objective of being an entrepreneur is to come up with a business plan. So, again, there are there some uh, entrepreneurship terms like work strategy, competitor, SWOT, product description, vision, and timeline. So let's start with the first topic for this afternoon. It's all about entrepreneurship and how to start a business. Okay, so when we speak about entrepreneurship, it refers to the concept of developing and managing a business venture in order to gain a profit. So we will run a small establishment and if you want to become an entrepreneur, you should be a risk taker. So I always advise my students that they should be always a risk taker. Uh, they have a strong attitude. They will not be afraid of taking any risk if they want to become an entrepreneur. So accepting the risk of starting and running a business is not easy. Uh, so you should be ready of everything. Example, in the SWOT analysis, there should be always threat. Uh, and you have to surpass it surpass it by doing some plans and strategies. Okay, entrepreneurs prefer to have more control over their destiny. So I mentioned while I go, this is one of the advantages of being an entrepreneur. You have all your time. You can adjust and do whatever you want because um, one of the disadvantages is you are the boss if you, want, uh, if you will become an entrepreneur. So, being a teacher, you have also to consider to become an entrepreneur. So, it is very important for you to know uh, re the reason for taking the entrepreneurial risk. Again, being an entrepreneur, there is always the so-called opportunity. Okay? In a business side, pag minutag opportunity, you have to look at the market. When I speak about the market, we are talking to our client, potential client. No? Um, in our industry or in outside our environment, there are so many opportunities. As long as we know what are the needs and demands of that particular client, we can come up with a certain product. And take note also, in the business, um, there are two types of product. Again, you know already or you have an idea. When we speak about product, we are talking to the goods that we were going to provide to the market. But there are two types of product. We have the so-called tangible and intangible. So intangible is the product that we can hold. Like for example, when we purchase an item or order through online, that is called the tangible product. But there is only one intangible product uh, that we could provide to our client, like for example, the service, service from hotels, or even services from the accounting firms and mga hospitals. Okay, aside from that, 
of course, no? you have to spend your time to have your business. You should know what is your goal in establishing a business. And one primary goal of having that kind of um, activity is, of course, to gain profit. No? So we will, not, we will not forget that we come up with that certain activity so that we could earn income. And of course, of having a big income, um, our priority is to satisfy our guests. Okay, the third factor there is independence. So we discussed it earlier that independence meaning you have the control. Okay. Um, also, challenge not uh, being a risk taker. You have to take the challenge with uh, uh, with determination, determination, and with a full smile. Okay, in order for you to prepare yourself to become an entrepreneur, you have to consider the following. Uh, number one is self-directed. Self-directed meaning you are responsible to organize all your activities. Uh, you always seek challenges. Uh, you want to solve any problem. And if there will be some tasks given to you, you monitor all the process no, in order to come up with a feedback. Because feedback is very important in order to make some changes into your business. And the most important thing in the self-directed is you have to cultivate the intrinsic motivation. No? You are self-motivated to do what you want, and of course, in order to help the company. Another thing is self-nurturing. When it, from the word nurture, you need to develop yourself. Huh? The most effective way to develop yourself is, of course, to attend regular trainings and seminars. And as a student, it is very important to you from time to time that you enhance your competency through trainings. It's because once that you will apply for a certain job, they will look at about your trainings if you fit to a particular position. So, um, para mi haya ng mga certificate once na mag-apply tayo ng trabaho. So, collect and collect. No? Okay, another, uh, by the way, in self nurturing, aside from you are prepared, you are competent, part of being self nurtured is to be free from stress. And of course, you need to be happy in doing certain things. Okay, the third one is action-oriented. When I say action-oriented, okay, you are willing to be trained. You have to follow the orders of if you will be working soon in a certain company. You have to follow what is asked to you. And of course, if you can see any problem, you have to act it as soon as possible okay the fourth one is you should be highly energetic uh, so if there are a lot of things to do sometimes no, or we are get tired easily so we must know about stress management no? we also have to lighten our loads in order for us to experience that we have to lighten our loads, we must know our priority. In knowing the priority, it depends 
to a person. Okay, like for example, on my part, I prefer to work no, a priority na ko to finish those difficult tasks before an easy in order for me to comply a lot of things for a particular day. So based on my learning for my previous day no, in the university, one of the university in Cebu, you are not effective you know, if in a certain day you just finish one output or one activity. So you should be flexible. No? Before you start your work, you should do your planning now. You should record. No? You have your personal calendar so that you will not forget anything. And you can comply on time. Okay, then the last one here is tolerant of uncertainty. Very common in business. The word uncertainty. So all you need to do is if you experience this one, you have to acknowledge and accept everything. But do not give up. Huh? In order also to deal with this, you should be knowledgeable on all things. No? Be up, avoid distraction. And if you are given a task and do submit something, you have to double check it first and you have to ensure that you will give a quality output and kamo ang mga estudyante no so i don't know lang kung all of you are practicing this one cross procrastination pauba na lang so you avoid this one no okay so we are now in pandemic or the new normal. So before, no, oh, there there is a changes na in terms how we work right now. So na ano si kita? Oh, we may tinatawag na tayong work from home. No, it's almost a year na that we are experiencing that one. And in business now, very in demand ang online business. No? But if you want to join the online sir, uh, online business, you have to know about that certain business. Sa, no? Do not trust easily. Okay? So, reasons for home-based business growth. Okay? The most important thing, if we want to have our online business, technology is very important right now. No? Like, for example, um, I am also an online entrepreneur. Uh, so, for few months pa lang. Uh, so, I also joined a lot of kanang mga online activities. But, again, no, it's just a trial and error. But you have to ensure that you love the product or you are knowledgeable about the certain services or products to be provided by a certain online business. Okay, pag online business siya, very important that you have available gadgets or laptops. And of course, Wi-Fi connection. No? So, because from time to time, you have to communicate with your customers through online. And follow-up and feedback are very important in our activity. Okay, we have here the word corporate downsizing. Corporate downsizing is not applicable in home base. So, pag sinabi natin downsizing in a corporation because there are external problems that we encountered. Example na ito, it is yung pandemic, no? There are many employees na nawala ng trabaho. And it's because the management cannot or na cannot give some salaries because they also experiencing financial difficulties. So they need to lay down sa mga employees. Pero if it is home base, you are the boss, you are the only one who is running your business, that will be a great advantage. Okay, another thing is change in social and attitudes. Okay. So, 
social attitudes before if we are or we are are working at a certain company uh, we are following the regular time ka uh, 8 to 5 siya pero pag online ka no wala nang oras-oras but most of the time uh, you should be ready that you will sleep late at night or early in the morning it's because you need to attend some of concerns of your clients and of course the training will be conducted late at night it's because no, you are done doing your household course so being a onlineer or being a online entrepreneurs you should be ready of the mga graveyard na mga times okay we also have here tax benefits no? pag home based ang business natin it will be an advantage okay again i will i will tell you that in business there are three types may tinatawag tayong sole proprietorship partnership and corporation or even meron pa tayong okay so sa sole pro, uh, sa sole proprietorship meaning you are the only person you're the only person who will do the activities of your business and in terms of tax would depend lang ang tax sa salary or income that you will be accepting pero kung corporation siya uh, it will be disadvantage because na you will pay for the dual tax no the tax for the company at the same time at the same time your personal tax so preferable a home base in terms of tax benefits if you are just the sole person for the business so it will be lower okay now now let's talk about the challenges that be encountered once that you will be having your home based business. Okay. Getting the new customers. So, customers are very important in a certain business, but you cannot attract customers easily because you have to present to them what is your product and you have you have to be you should present to them the value of your product so in attracting them or convincing them to to try your product you have to undergo first some survey or studies no? to ensure that that product of yours will be acknowledged in the market so knowing your customers again we're talking about the market no? as possible if home based ka, you have to follow the so-called target segmentation pag sinabi natin target segmentation like for example you are living in a barangay you should know how much uh, uh, the number or the population within the barangay and also you have to consider the demographic aspects of those residents there no? you should know about their age their sex or their gender no? their favorite colors of course their income because income is very important if they could afford to buy a particular product so you have to study all about your customers Okay, another thing is managing your time. Also, right now, um, in our school, we have two learning modalities. Uh, it's online, offline digital class in which we conduct our class every Thursday and Wednesday through Google Classroom. We also have modular learning modalities. But based on my experience being a teacher, it's very hard to balance no, the activities at home, mga domestic, and doing ato adjuntas being a teacher. So, but again, in order for us to adjust, um, 
we need them to do some habits, no? So continue doing the right thing for 21 days in order for you to have that habit. Okay, what is mentioned? Separating work and family tasks. No? Labi na if you are a mother, so you are concerned, diba? You are fond of doing household tasks. Okay, another is about the government ordinances. Of course, when you come up with your certain business, there are some certain category. You are re you register about or you need to come up with your business name. And of course, we also have here managing risk. Huh? You know, uh, as I mentioned earlier, being an entrepreneur, you should be a risk taker. You should be ready ready of everything and if we decided to come up with a certain business our goal is to survive that business for many years so be ready to take all the challenges okay so as a future teacher so i will advise you to start with a small business do not jump sa, no it's not bad naman to be ambitious but it's a good that you will start being a sole proprietorship huh? independently owned and operated not dominant in its field of operation and meet certain standard of size huh? so you limit your manpower uh, okay you limit the production of your product and you have to observe for a while if it will be okay or not so we have here businesses are small in relation to other businesses in their industry again start being a sole proprietorship uh, like for example also my ano yung mga example na small proprietorship business no having a calendaria no or okay na mga retail lang sari sari store so at least you know if even uh, being a sole proprietorship you need to know sa lahat ng cycle but how to do the business operation so what are the things that you need to learn about small business operations first learn from others so do not hesitate to ask those person that na experience about having a business no? we should learn from others do not hesitate to ask about their experience their challenges because that will serve as a lesson to you okay in business also um, we should uh, deal with our competitors as our friendly competitors uh, so um, it should be a healthy relationship with our customers because our main purpose is of course to address the needs and demands of the public so you have there investigate your local colleges for classes in small business and entrepreneurship talk to and work for successful local entrepreneurs in regards with local entrepreneurs you can have some partnership also with the LGUs or the local government units okay there are some projects na ato ang mga barangays or mga barangay captains so as a start they can also help us promote our product we also have here get some experience huh? so gain three years experience in the field then start a part-time small business so it will be a great advantage to you if you're planning to have a business not to work in a certain company or to do some like for example on the job training while you are studying your college okay third one take over a successful firm 
serve as an apprentice and eventually take over once the owner steps down. So, in management, in terms of organization, kita, may tinatawag tayong hierarchy levels. No? It is better uh, we should start from the bottom in terms of the organization. When I say about bottom, being a rank and file. No? Rank and file, and then supervisory level, managerial, and of course, the highest position. Para sa your experience will mold you to become a good businessman or entrepreneur. No? So, there are some sad nga, they are interested nga, na adayon sa higher position. So, again, it depends to a certain person. Pero, if me, I prefer to start from the bottom going up. Okay, so let's talk on how to manage each a small business or being a sole in proprietorship. So we'll start from the scratch or draft. So we need to do the planning. So in management, we have the so-called functions of management. And the function of management starts with planning and then organizing. We also have their uh, controlling and then directing. So, we need to follow it step by step. And everything should start with the plan. And ends also with a plan. No? Kasi, you have to study about, you have to have your plan. You have to execute or implement your plan. Get some feedback. And then, if there will be some something to be changed, go back to planning. Nasad. No? in order to improve the Mohang business. Okay? Another thing is writing a business plan. So, pag mag-entrepreneurship kayo, ito yung document na very important. You should master on how to write a business plan. Kasi you will start to tell about your company, no? yung history, your organization how are you going to produce the product what are the steps so what are your SOP or standard operating procedure and how are you going to run it your financial aspects your contingency plan so marami you consider it as a business plan of course the business plan is the document that you're going to present to your potential investors. Ano yung potential investors? The potential investors will help you to no, to add on your capital so that para nasad ma level up ang operation or ang mga services that you're going to provide for the public or to the market. Okay, another thing getting money to fund the business. No? So, do not, if after no, you are satisfied now of being a sole proprietorship, level up to have a partnership. So, when I say partnership, you look for another person to help you to run the business. And if two person na ang magpatakbo ng, ng company, so, there will be some improvement may karamay ka na to do the business. So, um, until na time will goes by from partnership, maging corporation siya. Kasi in a certain corporation, we are talking about in order for us to invest, we have to buy stocks. No? Okay. Getting money to fund the business. As an entrepreneur or businessman, we should be knowledgeable. Na if in times uh, there will be some problems that we encounter, again, pag businessmen ka, fight, 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 hindi ka agad susuko, you have to find ways on how to survive, di ba? So again, like for example, ngayon pandemic, like you have observed na maraming businesses na nag-close. No? It's because di na kaya. Pero 
as long as you are positive and you have means in about financial, okay, financial resources. So, maraming ways para tayo makakuha ng financial resources. And in a certain corporation, ang financial management ang in charge to look for means in order na to help the company in terms of financing. Okay, financing, you could possibly borrow from a certain bank. And of course, the investors or the bank employees or the bank management, they have to check your financial statement. No? Kasi makikita doon, ano yung status ng company? No? Losing ka or earning? Okay, so we also have here, no? it keeps on repeating, balik-balik, knowing your customers. Because your customer is considered as your lifeblood. Without them, diba, you cannot have an income. So you have to take care of them. You have to satisfy their needs and demands. Okay? Not only the customers. No? You have to also consider your employees. Because employees are considered as the asset of the company. They are the one no? who will make your draft or your plans into realization. They are the one who will help you achieve your goals and objectives or your mission and vision of the certain company. So, aside from the customers, we have to take care also of our employees. No? So, we have to listen to them if in terms they have some concerns. And you know ba ang, uh, ang employees, they are the frontliners. They can give you some ideas on how to improve the system or the standard operating procedures. Okay, we also have here keeping the records. Huh? Where it's very important that we have to keep all our records confidentially. No, there is a sign person to that. And of course, looking for help, meaning do not hesitate to ask advice sa mga the same entrepreneurs or businessmen okay so when i say knowing your customers you have to consider your market no? you have to satisfy their wants and needs okay you must know the different resources pag sinabi natin resources we're talking about manpower method, machine, materials. Uh, that completo yung ang siyang mga M's in order for us to fully operate. Need to end sa topic 1. So, I'll give you some mga koan. No? Never forget or some tips about business. This is from the billionaire Karen Nelson. Uh, so, first tip, the best customer service is if your customer doesn't need to call you. Why doesn't need to call you? Because you are advanced, no? You are the one who do the follow-up. You are the one, konti pa lang na kilos ng customer, alam niyo na kung ano yung need. So, napag-aaralan yan in business. No, hindi na yung, yung client pa ang uh, uh, magtatanong sa'yo, pero sa gestures pa lang, alam mo na on how to deal with it. Number two, it's not an experiment if you know it's going to work. So, before you start a business, you have to ensure that everything is ready. No? Walang experiment dito. So, more on more on planning and improvement. Three, if you don't understand the details of your business, you're going to fail. No? What I mentioned earlier, if you want to have an online business, you should be passionate. You should know about that, about the product. No, like for example, if you want to engage about computer, dapat you know what are the parts of the computer, how to do the technoli uh, technicalities, how to do some repairs. Everything dapat alam mo about your business. Next, your brand is what other people say about you when you're not in the room. 
So, in business, branding is very important. Pag sinabi natin branding, you can see it through the logo. No? Sa logo pa lang kasi, it will be a reflection about your business. No? They will see to it what is your intention to the public. Aside from the logo, um, usually the customers or the potential clients will be attractive about sa tagline mo. No? So, experts will do or create the logo and your tagline in order to capture their attention. Okay, Vista born edition but flexible on details. Okay, pag sinabi sa born, you can be ambitious but being ambitious, you need to write, no? Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4 para walang makalimutan. No? It should be detailed. It should be specific. No? So, so, in management also, we apply the acronym SMART. When we do statement, when we do decision making, SMART stands for it should be specific, it should be measurable, no? and then A, achievable, R for realistic, and it should be also time-bounded. Okay, number six, put the customer first, invent and be patient. Though we have the saying that goes that customer is always right, it's not that um, literally right, but we, we want to please them. No? There are certain steps that we need to follow on how to deal if there are some complaints towards our customers. And then next, word of mouth is very powerful. No, I don't know kung nakalimutan na ba ni Ralme na during our classes na I always emphasize the word of mouth kasi word of mouth is one of the advertisement in the business very cheap siya wala kayong babayaran because word of mouth if you satisfy a certain client that satisfied customer of yours will relay his or her experience to a lot of people so very simple lang diba? you don't need to shell out dollars or millions for your advertisement so through word of mouth it's a very effective advertising tool in order to come up or in order to have or increase your customers or clients okay so let's move on to other objectives for this Okay. Um, test your entrepreneurial potential. So, our main objective here, of course, is to know if you have the potential to become an entrepreneur. So, I found a assessment form uh, through online uh, below. So, I'll just give this PowerPoint presentation to your advisor so that you can have it and then later after our webinar you could try to answer sa potential self assessment there is a link below na inyuhang uh, makikita ninyo no so in this entrepreneurial potential self assessment there are uh, 50 statements that you need to fill up so you have to answer if you totally disagree somewhat disagree or somewhat agree or totally agree so you just choose the numbering lang answer the 50 item statement and then after you answer the 50 item statement huh, you will get the result okay so here Look at the example for the strat. One you have here, the means core of the entrepreneur. So, based on this, no, sa A is the score. Wala, hindi siya nakarich ng mean, meaning the average, almost lang siya. But it doesn't mean you, ha you have no potential. But it will be a challenge if you are interested you could continue doing it or achieve your dreams no so it doesn't mean a low ang score mo uh, you will stop 
no, your desire to become an entrepreneur. So, in this assessment, you have their pakikita yung they will address or they will present to you your motivation skills, your aptitude, or even your attitude or your desires to become an entrepreneur. So, in motivation aspect, you have the so-called here need for achievement. No? So, we always looking forward to become a successful. Okay? So, we also have here power or control appeal. So, we discussed that one earlier. I mentioned that one. Part of the motivation is you take the challenges and of course, you have the freedom. And the freedom here is no, like for example, about your time. Okay, for the aptitude portion, no, they will check about your determination, your enthusiasm, resistance to stress. No, because sabi ko nga kanina, most of the time panggibigyan siya. No, uncertain then your office hours or your business hours of doing the certain tasks. And of course, they will also check your being creative, the aptitude the part. And the last aspect, which is the attitude, no? In any businesses or in any um, job, attitude is very important. Kasi yung skills, yung knowledge, pwede lang siya ito follow. No? So, like for example, you are taking uh, education. How sure are you that at the end of this journey, you will become a teacher? So you should be flexible. Ako, I graduate hotel and restaurant management na course. But I am not working in a hotel or even in a restaurant. Because, sabi nga sila, there is a calling down. No? So, but... I work in a, in a university under the hotel and restaurant program but basically my experience is more on the administrative aspect. Yeah, I am 15 years in teaching pero siguro half or three-fourth of that is more on administrative function. Uh, so, um, yung hotel and restaurant skills ko is na-apply ko na lang if there are some events. But right now, so, from private to public school, no? so um, you need to be flexible, you need to adjust because it doesn't mean uh, you will be, you are taking that course at the end, you did. No? Pero it could be uh, magagamit siya in the future. So, sir, I'll just give you the link, then uh, hopefully I can have some feedback or result about your uh, about your self-assessment later on. Uh, so, to end, here's uh, topic number two. Uh, I have here a note. Uh, so, always remember that when you do certain things, you should always consider your heart. You should be always humble in all things. Uh, everything will be followed. Uh, I think that life really comes down to deciding to follow your heart over your fears. So, if you want to be a teacher, go on. But if you want, if you have the desire also to become a businessman or entrepreneur, do it. Huh? Your heart spends to you through your feelings deep within while fear speaks to others and judgment out there your heart can say to leave a relationship but fear will say you will be trust for leaving them your heart may say to stay new career but fear can enter and say you will fail if you follow your heart anyways your life will undoubtedly change you will be guided by your true self instead of fear. You will find the people and jobs and places truly meant for you and the rest will fall away. So, 
being a risk taker you have to go care all your fears uh, follow your heart achieve your dreams take it also slowly no? so no i mentioned that yeah, i am an hrm graduate but no there is a calling for me to teach both in the private and public sectors and i Start loving it, no? So, being a teacher. So, I think we have a few minutes left, no? For our discussion. So, we also have here, uh, investment ideas for young adults. Okay, I'll just give you some tips. Number one, unleash the power of compound interest by investing early. So, I think um, your age bracket, your 20, 21, or 19 to 20. So, this is a great start na sa inyong age to have or to do the investment. So, you have there, unleash the power of compound interest by investing early. So, what are the possible nga pwede ninyo in invest Okay? Hopefully, you have some savings right now in the bank. No? Another is yung mga insurance. So, when I say compound interest, you have the capital and if you will put it diba, into business or in bank, if the interest will be remain for a particular period and then you will not get it, the capital will increase and another interest for another period. So, my advice is you must have a savings no, at this point. Number two, consider investing as part of the broader financial plan. So, you will not limit yourself na poros lang sa bank. No? So, you have to look, like for example, no, you have uh, online business is one of the examples in order for you to have a business. And then, if you have enough money, you can do some, so you can buy some, some mga lands, no? So, based on my experience, at the age of no? late 20s, I started to buy some mga, some mga, mga land, no? And um, you know that if you will buy a property, you, uh, uh, after several years, it will multiply ang kanyang value. No? So then, realize that money is a tool. So, number four, wrap up your saving as you age. Meaning, like for example, you are 20 years old right now, you have to save 100 pesos every month. By next year, you have to increase it. You have to save 150 you have to discipline yourself no if you want that you will not worry for your future karon pa lang or ngayon pa lang dapat magse-save na kayo and to control yourself to have discipline dapat hindi niyo yun ginagalaw so the best option for that kasi if you just keep your money inside your house you will be tempted so mas better yun ilagay niyo sa insurance no health insurance or ano ba, educational ba, or any aspects. So, it's very important. And number six is invest in yourself. So, you are a college student right now. Pag sinabi natin, invest in yourself. So, I am praying and hoping that you will not stop studying. No, you should finish your course, your tertiary degree. And pag nag-graduate na kayo ng college, Hindi pa yung end. No? Take your master of degree, take your doctorate degree, and um, continue the training. Kasi time will come no? Nga when you apply a job, you will not be accepted pag wala kang master and doctorate degree. Habang maaga, you should plan, get that degree para dumating yung time na you're ready to work and required siya, hindi ka mahihirapan. So, 
always remember an investment in knowledge pays the best interest uh, so that investment is your education sa age niyo pa lang ngayon continue keep on pursuing the course you're taking right now so kali um Okay, we also have here money management. So, so money management, you have to consider on how to do the budgeting. Okay, set and stick to a budget. Okay, like for example, daily you have to check your expenses. Okay, you do the daily budgeting, weekly budgeting, monthly budgeting. But your goal is hindi siya mag-exceed sa money na available or cash on hand dapat meron siyang balance or may extra siya and that extra of yours will be your savings no? it's not hard siguro at this point you will start to save 10 pesos 10 pesos in a year ilan na yun, di ba? or by next year 20 pesos no? so dyan yung mag start yung habit in budgeting Okay, about uh, cash, no? another tip also, if you will go out no, before, ngayon, naman tayo nakakalabas na. Okay, if you will go out, if you will stroll in the mall, you just bring small amount of money so that you will not be tempted to buy. And when you buy, when you go to a grocery or department store, when you buy, dapat naka-checklist na siya. No? Meron ka ng guide or listahan, ano lang yun. Kasi if you will not be guided on what to buy, uh, more or less, or tendency, no, you will be buying non-essential things. Okay, savings on money also. No? Not about your transportation cost. Labi um, pandemic na tayo ngayon, times two, times three. Yung fair na binabayaran natin. So, part of saving is you could do the walking if it is possible. No? And then another is uh, advice is to come up with a meal plan. No? A meal plan meaning you need to consider those complete meals no? but in a budget way. Okay, we also have here about tips about banking. Keep a reserve of saving that you don't touch and add to do whatever possible. Okay, like for example, based on my experience, if I have some savings, um, kung gusto mo mag-save ng money sa bank, no, pwede rin siya bank book, pwede siya nag ATM. Para hindi mo masyadong maghalaw, for me, I prefer a bank book. Kahit sa ATM, nadali lang siya ma ma makuha, di ba? Then check your bank balance regularly. Also, you have to oversee from time to time. Check about your money, your expenses. And be cautious about banking among friends. Also, uh, you know na uh, yung mga friends natin is, di ba? Temptation din yan. No? Sabi you want uh, to go to a certain thing, palebre, etc. So, you have to control it. So, do not forget, it's very easy to waste money. Eh? And you'll go through it faster than you expect. Pag hindi nyo practice yung budgeting, at the end of the day, no, uh, maki, uh, malalaman na lang ninyo na you are in debt na or kulang na yung money para sa mga personal use nyo or etc. But, uh, it is possible talaga ha, in saving or if you want to save, you just look at no, what, uh, the cash can add or what is available. So you have to pay first sa ano yung dapat, no? Kasi uh, strategy din yan eh, di ba? Kung how are you going to, to to deal with your money or manage your money. So, um, trial and error din yan kung ano yung effective sa yung. So, I will not recommend kung ano talaga yung nararapat, pero it is a trial and error. Ikaw mismo yung makaka-discover ano yung fit na strategy in order to manage your money. Okay, this will be the last one. It's about SWOT analysis because I am expecting an output for this. So, yung SWOT analysis, 
it is also applicable not only in business but it is also applicable in yourself so may tinatawag tayo business SWOT analysis we also have the, the personal SWOT analysis but when I say SWOT analysis is a situation analysis technique for evaluating no, your strength and your weaknesses and the opportunities and threat also so why do we need to conduct personal SWOT analysis okay number one to take better decisions okay two to focus on your strength so you have that one you have your strength you have to improve it but aside from that you have to overcome your weakness also no? in identifying your weakness you have to make that weakness of yours become your strength someday okay another is to uncover the opportunities so pag we were talking about the opportunities and threats it's about the external factor no? it is uncontrollable but you can do something about it then to minimize the threat and of course to take proactive decisions okay so you have here I know your strength so strength is what you do very well no? maybe better than anyone else so we're talking about your you have uh, one of your strengths is your communication skills chatera. so in addressing the strength uh, you have to consider the guide questions like for example what unique skills do you have what do you do better than anyone else so self-assessment is very important but you could also um, ask your friends and you should know it diba? because most of the time if there will be some activity they are praising you because you have that strength okay we also have here weakness weakness is what you lack in or what you don't do very well so you need to make something that will improve semuhang weaknesses no? because it could help your personality you are the one who could help yourself in order to become a better person so aside from that again you have here mga guide questions to, to check or in order for you to identify what will be your weaknesses example of this what resources are you deficient in no? okay when the theme of resources you have a problem ba in terms of financial no? you have a problem ba in terms of uh, any aspects then what are your negative work habits no? but negative habits siya, if you can have some re realization no you think that it is not good no? as a mature person if you identify those negative work habits you can change it into positive okay we also have here opportunity opportunity again it is external factor what is that you could do but aren't meaning what are the available resources outside no outside your company or outside your boundaries so what situation can you take advantage of like for example you want to pursue um, your masteral degree no one of the problems is financial so opportunity is there are a lot of scholarship offered by the different agency or institutions okay and then we also have here threat no? threat is also un uncontrollable so it is an environment that could cause trouble for for you to achieve the objective or goal so meaning threat is a hindrance so you know that it is a hindrance it can affect yourself or the company so you need to do something in order to omit that one also uh, guide questions here what are your competitors doing is the demand of your strength declining what trends could harm your antennas okay so to sum up about this what it is a strategic analysis when I say strategic analysis, it's a long term, no? It's a long term, it's a more than five years. So, in strategic and doing the strategic analysis, 
there are two options. Uh, there are two one category. It's internal and external. So under the internal, we have the strength and weakness. External, which is uncontrollable, are the opportunities and threats. So I have here some examples, no, about the SWOT analysis. You just go over with those statements, like for example, so strength, so that you could answer or come up with your personal per year SWOT analysis. For example, so strength, the professional qualification certifications that have that makes you stand out from the rest. Okay, like for example, you are a uh, BS Ed student. No? In what aspect uh, you could consider that one as your strength? So we also have weakness, opportunity, and threat. So again, um, as an output for this activity, I will give you a format and I will just give some instruction to your teacher on how to submit or you could submit your output to me as a SWOT analysis through my email. So I have here grizzle.babon at depend.gov.ph.